To be a man of God in the family will absolutely wear you out. Because you get home after eight, nine, ten hours work, you're tired, regroup in the car. That's the only thing I can tell you. Because when you get home, it's time to serve. It's time to serve your wife first and your children second. Not your children first and your wife second. Now let me share with you something. It's a very strong illustration. It will offend some of you, but let me share this with you. If I'm in a boat with my wife and my two boys that I love so much, and the, I'm the only one who can swim, and that boat begins to sink, and I can only save one, I'm saving my wife, not my children. And if my wife is in that boat and she's the only one who can swim, she should save me. And you say, well, I just never, I know you never, but listen, it's true. Now I'm going to share something with you that's going to make you really mad. Okay? That's why I'm getting down here and he's near that door right there. <laughs> Keep her open, brother. And it's not going to be the men, it's going to be the gray-haired little old ladies with the horn rim glasses that are going to get me right now. You ever heard the saying, there's nothing like a mother's love? It's not true. The Bible says there's nothing like a father's love, number one. But I want you to hear something. Listen to me really well. Some women and some men love their children more than their spouse. And this is the reason. It's parasitic. It's parasitic. What do I mean? The children mean everything to that woman because all the tenderness and all the emotion and all the love that she should be getting from her husband and she is not. She is getting it from her children. Because her husband is not meeting all those needs, then little boys and little girls have to be the ones who do it. Do you understand me? Some of you are so tied to your children. Why? Because they haven't treated you like your husband. Everything is your children, my children. I'm a mother. It's children, children, children. That's not biblical. Even though, yes, as a couple, we should lay down our lives for our children, you need to understand something, men. It is not the job of the children to meet the emotional needs of the wife. It is the job of the husband. So that someday when those little boys go off married with some other woman, your wife doesn't turn into the meanest mother-in-law this side of the Antichrist. Because someone took her source of love, her source of comfort, her source that she depended on because her husband wasn't there. 